Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. So as you guys know, the biggest matchup in the LCS playoffs this weekend is Team Liquid against TSM. It's two obviously huge fan bases, two of the best teams in the LCS this season, the second and the third seed. They're just both one game behind Cloud9 in the regular season standings, and when that's just 18 best of ones, I mean, those three teams are all really, really close. Um, and the other series this weekend is Cloud9 against 100 Thieves. I don't think people expect that series to be very close. It could end up being a great series, but 100 Thieves also doesn't have like the fan base uh, or just the hype around their League of Legends team that Team Liquid and TSM have, and, and this should be uh, a really, really great matchup. It's going to be a fun one. Obviously, TSM went out this offseason and landed Sword Art, uh, the, the highest paid player in the LCS, one of the biggest um, free agent signings in the LCS in recent memory. Um, and it was super, super hyped and exciting. And obviously, as soon as he got here, uh, as soon as the signing was announced, there was instantly comparisons to Core JJ and Team Liquid, especially Core JJ and Tactical, and the new uh, young bot lane partner that Sword Art was going to have in Lost over in TSM. And since they've been here throughout this whole split, they've been compared. They've both been great. They've both been amazing. Their teams have both been great. And now this weekend, we're finally getting them to match up in a playoff scenario in this video today we're going to be talking about all about that matchup but before we get into that i just want to mention real quick if you guys have not already this is that time of the video where we take a second and smash the like button i would appreciate it so so much really helps me out the youtube algorithm we're trying to run those numbers up uh you know as high as we get them like i said recently 100 likes has been the goal i don't think that's asking too much if we get that great if we don't hey, it's all right we'll try and get it next time subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content um 6500 subscribers right on the horizon you know we're getting close um but with that being said let's get right into this so travis gafford recently had an interview with sword art if you haven't watched it already go check out his channel go check out his stuff travis Travis Gafford has been popping off this season. I, I've always been a, a fan of Travis Gafford. I think, obviously, he was kind of doing this stuff before anyone was really doing it, and um, he has so many connections, and he's been so consistent with his content. It's been great, but... I have been a little bit skeptical of his content in the past. I believe he could have asked better questions. I believe he could have been more interesting, yada, yada, yada. I think he's been awesome this year. I think Travis Gafford has been doing a great job. I think he deserves more praise. I think he should get more views, more fans. I, I think he should be a more popular guy. I think he's really leveled up over the years and, and improved as a content creator. Uh, and he's really a, a great, great interviewer. But he got to sit down, talk to Sword Art. He got to ask him a lot of questions leading up to this matchup against Team Liquid, against Core JJ. Uh, and he knows he got some good quotes from this one. He knows he did a good job because he tweeted out, Dear Riot Broadcast, ahead of TSM versus TL, I give you close to two minutes of Sword Art talking about his rivalry with Core JJ. And he says, I have removed my voice channels, all my branding, and tweet this as my consent to have my ownership of this clip completely unreferenced. Feel free to do whatever you want with it. Just please hype the rivalry and storyline please i can provoke i can also provide the full raw file if this is desired so this is an awesome tweet from travis gafford you know he's saying i don't care uh if my name or my brand or any of my sponsors or anything gets out there because obviously riot might have a problem with that right maybe doesn't want to uh you know uh like <laughs> uh put out Travis Gafford's name on their broadcast. If you're like, oh, go check out Travis Gafford's YouTube channel or something like that. They're unlikely to do that. And certain sponsors for Travis Gafford, they can't necessarily share. And, and he's saying he doesn't care. He just wants the League of Legends broadcast to be at its best. He wants it to be hype. He wants it to be exciting. He wants it to be awesome for fans. And I love that about him. And that's what he's always said. You know, he hasn't had a problem with other people, you know, reacting to his content, using his content, using clips, all that stuff. And that's great. That's how it all should be. You know, people have used videos from me and other stuff before, and I've never cared and I use Travis's stuff and I use other people's stuff and other people like that's just how it goes and that's how it should be and nobody should really care at the end of the day you know we want uh content around League of Legends to be successful we want the game to be successful we want the broadcast to be successful when the LCS does well when the LCS is hype you know Travis will will reap the rewards of that as well but uh, it sounds like some spicy stuff obviously the quotes we see here are Core JJ's biggest enemy he says Core JJ won world in the ardent sensor meta obviously taking a little dig at him there uh and then <coughs> Sorry, I can't talk. Then saying he accuses them of always calling for support in their matches. So um, let's check out this little clip of Sword Art uh, interviewing with Travis Gafford. Obviously, the Travis Gafford parts are cut out. Um, but we can see some of this trash talk and hopefully get hyped up and excited. You know, Travis Gafford's hyping this up a lot um, just to see if we can, you know, create some interesting storylines headed into TSM Team Liquid this weekend. Let's see. Uh, and again, Sword Art is coming over um, from Taiwan, but he actually has pretty decent English. So that's always good to see as well um, and really helps out with content and pieces like this. Yeah, Kurt JJ <coughs> was world champion before in Arden Sensor meta. Right? And he he played really well. And I I also think um, he 
he's a really good leader because uh, he joined everything and everything have a good uh, score. So. So yeah, I just I just think that's an interesting part. Obviously, at the beginning, uh, he's not trying to be too mean with it. Um, but you know, he does say, "Oh yeah, he won world in the Art and Sensor meta." Obviously, people are gonna say that you know the game was busted at the time. Support was easy to play. Uh, you tried to pick a shielding champion, throw some shields on people, stay safe. I mean, that meta was all about protect the support, and it's just really really funny that Sword Art uh, is saying something like that. And obviously, Sword Art himself has been a world finalist, but he hasn't quite been able to able to get over the edge. So uh, you know, then you have the, the comparisons with Core JJ there that you know. Core JJ right now he's the the reigning MVP in the LCS he, he's won the world title um and Sword Art hasn't been able to do that he's been close but he just quite hasn't got there and uh you know just funny that Sword Art's maybe taking a little dig at him there again he didn't say it like he meant it that bad but uh, uh he definitely made sure to include that little point that people knew it was just an ardent sensor meta which I think is hilarious uh, some creative interesting trash talk from Sword Art I, I definitely appreciate that mm. Uh, but you can also tell that he does definitely respect Core JJ a ton, obviously saying he's a great leader, saying every team he's gone to has, has gotten better and improved and had good scores and everything, and, and that is absolutely true. Um, he can have a ton of respect for him, and, and that uh, probably plays into this a lot. I mean, if it was a guy he didn't respect at all, there wouldn't be beef. It would just be like, oh, yeah, I don't even care about that guy. You know, to have a, one of these great rivalries with a the, with the player that has been so great in the past, like Sword Art, and, can, and considers himself to be great, you want to have rivalries with other great players and other great teams, not just nobody. So, uh, you know. You know, th this stuff does come from an area of respect for sure, but still, you always got to have that spicy trash talk, especially headed into the playoffs. I think I'm a little bit similar with him because I also, I, I, w I was also the leader in the team. So I think, um, yeah, play against him is really, really interesting. And, and also... I think he and me think the think about the game is the same thing. Some support uh, support player have two kind of play style. Uh, one play style is they really focus on their their mechanics, and but another support player is really care about how to let the team gr uh, group together and and grow grow up to it together. So I think we, we both are the second style of team. And yeah, that's another reason I, I like how he says he, he really thinks they are similar in a lot of ways. And I think that's why we've had a lot of these comparisons. Again, um, not only are they both top international supports, not only have they both uh, made it to the world finals, obviously with the core JJ taking it down and they both came to the L LCS trying to be successful. They have both come to top teams in the LCS. They've both then been paired up with a, a younger bot laner. Obviously, core JJ not right away, started out with double lift, but then, uh, you know, he kind of takes tackle under his wing. Probably how Sword Art is definitely taking lost under his wing right now. Um, but... Like he said, they both, uh, not only do they just try to be mechanical gods and style on people and play for themselves and make highlight reels and try and make a bunch of money in LCS, you know, they're not coming over collecting paychecks either. They are both trying to make their teams better. They're both doing whatever they have to do. They're both um, highly active on the map, leaders who who will roam and, and you know, make plays and make picks and stuff for the team. Uh, and I think that's what's really awesome about both these guys is that, yeah, they are absolutely just huge competitors. They've both said in interviews before that they really, really want to have success in North America, but also help North America succeed, help the LCS succeed, show them how to play the game the right way. Uh, and they do want to be successful. They want to be competitive and they don't just want to be collecting checks. And they both seem to have that same mindset. Uh, they both have a similar play styles on the Rift. And yeah, you could might say that Core JJ is a little bit more mechanical. Obviously, I know Sword Art's gotten a lot of uh, critiques and stuff for his mechanics in the past, but I think he's a little bit underrated in that regard. Um, but the, the, the parallels between these two players and their career so far uh, are definitely there. And it's definitely interesting. And, and I, I'm I'm glad that obviously Sword Art notices that. I mean, it's not that crazy of a thing, but uh, it is pretty interesting. This is like Travis Gafford talking. He had to mute it out, obviously. Mm. Just an awkward pause. <laughs> yeah, I think Kose Zay, for sure, he is my biggest uh, enemy in, in the league. So every time you play against Team Liquid, is really interesting. I think he also think about the same because when we play against him he really like to call his jungle account to bot <laughs> yeah so yeah 
So uh, at the end, I think those are some of the best quotes and like how Travis Gafford is calling for the LCS broadcast and the Riot broadcast to actually use some of these clips and create like a hype piece or some trash talk and stuff leading into it. I think those are two of the best quotes in my opinion. One, the Core JJ is my biggest enemy. I could absolutely see Riot having like a quick cut to that, you know, some cinematic, uh, like some big plays on the rift or something. And then Core JJ is my biggest enemy. Like I think that would be super, super cool. I think that would be super hype actually. Um, and I love that, that quote from Sora. I mean, it's just a good quote it can be used in that cinematic way leading up into a hype moment hype clips right before the series starts i think that would be so so cool uh, but then also uh just as a funny thing him calling out that yeah he said hey core jj needs his jungler you know he's got to get him down here every time we play we're trying to go 2v2 that's not happening uh so i just thought that was hilarious you know and again he laughs after he's just messing around he's joking around but uh you know I, I, in every joke there is a little bit of truth i'm sure he you know it wants to to see how it would go 2v2 and, and everyone gets pissed off when junglers get involved when people come down and gank them and all that stuff um but again you know when we take a look at how the series the season series has gone between these two guys i mean in my opinion these have been the two best supports in the lcs this season vulcan has been great as well who he has been great after moves up there as well they've all been great but i do think sword art and core jj are two of the best supports uh in the league right now but when they've matched up against each other this season outside of the lock-in tournament this is obviously um just in the actual season we have uh this game between tsm and liquid where uh sword art was one six and ten on the galio obviously not like an amazing amazing score line or anything core jj won four and eight on the alistar obviously with tsm taking that one down and then a little bit earlier in the season sword art pulled out a pantheon game definitely he's very very known for that champion zero two and six uh with core jj going zero three and two on the nautilus so neither one of them has had like an insane pop-off game against each other yet um but tsm has been able to get the better of team liquid in both of their regular season matchups now headed into the playoffs it could be a lot different you know this is going to be a best of five which is way way different than best of ones this is also going to be a playoff scenario which is way way different than the regular season especially the spring split regular season um but this is again this is going to be a fun one two huge fan bases two great teams who are both coming into the playoffs playing pretty well you know liquid was a little bit up and down they're on an upswing tsm started out really slow they're on more of an upswing right now and they were at the beginning of the season or uh you know during the lock-in tournament or whatever uh core jj reigning mvp team liquid has been considered one of the best teams in the lcs for quite some time they're the reigning lock-in tournament champs tsm trying to prove themselves sword art trying to prove themselves because you know people are saying core jj is the best support in the lcs right now and uh yeah obviously tsm's bot lane wants a piece of that tsm wants a piece of that and this one should be a ton of fun and i'm excited that sword art's gotten some trash talk leading up to that i'm glad that travis gafford is trying to create these narratives to push these narratives and just to see the overall success of the lcs and north american league of legends and just you know competitive uh, lol esports in general which i think is absolutely awesome but that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you enjoyed it. I would appreciate it so, so much. Leave a comment down below. What do you think about this series headed into this weekend? You got TSM. You got Team Liquid. What are your score lines? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content. Hopefully, catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.